Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. It's been 32 years since the end of the Gulf War. During Operation Desert Storm, one Wichita veteran kept communication flowing between top military leaders. Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer have his story in tonight's Veteran Salute. At the beginning of the Gulf War, Harry Willis was part of a team testing a prototype of a satellite communication system, a system Willis quickly mastered. Little did he know that same system would play an important role as Operation Desert Shield became Operation Desert Storm. But I got a phone call from a guy that I worked with on this communication system that we were testing. And I said, what's going on? He said, well, you might want to pack your bag. After five years at sea, the turning point of the Gulf War would send second class petty officer Harry Willis to the desert. I went to see the command master chief and he said, I don't know what you know or who you know, but you got orders to go to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Willis landing in Riyadh in February 1991, less than a month into Operation Desert Storm. We were getting off the plane and uh, that we were immediately under scud attack. We hadn't been on the ground two minutes when that happened. That was, you know, welcome to Saudi Arabia. Willis handpicked to join a special Navy team at the Ministry of Defense and Aviation. I went to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia with about 10 other people that I worked on this communication system with. The same communication system prototype Willis had tested at sea also on its way to Saudi Arabia. Someone uh, within the Joint Chiefs said, hey, Let's see if this thing really works in a tactical situation. The team working around the clock to build, maintain, and secure the system, both above and below ground. We're about five stories below ground. We're in installing this system. Keeping top secret communications flowing between Riyadh and the Pentagon. In Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, our user was uh, General Schwarzkopf. And in the Pentagon, our user was uh, Colin Powell. The system quickly proving to be a success. We were able to test literally uh, every possible scenario that would occur with, you know, with that system, and it worked. For their achievements in Riyadh, Willis and his team were awarded Army Commendation Medal signed by General Schwarzkopf, a rare honor for Navy sailors. The group that I worked with, I think they were the best of the best, you know, and to be among those. It made me feel really good. Willis and his team stayed in Riyadh to keep the system running until May of 1991. Willis would go on to serve a total of nine years in the U.S. Navy. Meanwhile, that same communication system Willis worked on would later be installed on Navy ships. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of the Bond James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Mr. Harry Willis, who served our country in the United States Navy as a petty officer too. Mr. Willis, thank you so much for your service. Thank you for your recognition. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.